Wisdom with Gabby. Today I'm going to read an excerpt from The Power Brain Book by Ilchi Lee. This excerpt will be about why it's important to create a connection with yourself. Your dialogue with yourself becomes increasingly articulate and conscious, and with practice, you become the master of this inner conversation. Wisdom doesn't mean retaining lots of information or performing well on tests. Wisdom is the ability to make use of information in novel and productive ways. It's about being able to create, and creation requires experimentation, risk-taking, and invention. When you find yourself up against an old pattern of thought that limits you, don't surrender out of habit. Engage with those ideas from a higher and wiser part of your brain. Talk to yourself within your brain to bring your thoughts into sharper focus. Ask yourself these questions. What stops me from doing what I really want to do? What emotional patterns prevent me from pursuing my dreams? What makes up my present ideas about my personal identity? Who and what influenced the creation of this identity? What parts of my identity are an image I've created and not who I really am? What limits do I place on myself because of preconceptions and false ideas? As you investigate these questions, be aware that nothing is more important than self-knowledge. You're not being self-obsessed when you explore your own depths. You can't bring anything of value to others in the world unless you first become the master of your brain and your own life. The process of letting go of illusions and old ideas is something you'll find challenging, but also exceedingly interesting. You'll need to experiment, to grow comfortable with failure, and to build the courage to try again and again. But when your knowledge and experience coalesce, you will become aware of big breakthroughs taking place deep within your consciousness and you will have wonderful moments of pure insight. There's a reason why we often represent
present the birth of an idea with the symbol of a light bulb above someone's head in Korean. The word ne, which means brain, can also mean lighting, brightness, and electricity. That's what you'll feel as your new awareness evolves. Light, bright, and full of creative ideas. That was all for the reading, but I wanted to try some ASMR sounds. So I got this new microphone hat, and it's really fuzzy. And I wanted to try some bubble wrap sounds. Stop with Gabby.